Ouch. <laughs> That's got to feel better. Nurse Terry Foster knows that weekend nights in the ER can get a little crazy. I finally got that costume off the drunk girl in three. You figured out what she's supposed to be? Um, Harlequin meets Naughty Piggy. Thanks for the insight. I'll get started on her. OK. Terry. Yeah. Ooh. Friday and Saturday nights in the emergency room, we get a lot of drunks in. Hi, I'm Terry. Hello, Sherry. Hey, what are the chances of getting a cocktail around here? Uh, buddy, the only cocktails we have here are in syringes. When I first saw Walt, I could tell he was intoxicated just by the way he was walking in. What's your name? Uh, Walt? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get you back here and set you down, OK? I'm going to hold on to you. It's you OK? A good, it's a good idea. You all right? OK. I knew he was intoxicated, but I also knew he was injured. When you see a person who has alcohol on board, you don't know if the symptoms are from the alcohol or a head injury. What happened to you? High school reunion, <laughs> 20 years. Me and some of the boys sweat to the bar. Afterwards, said some guys at the table beside us were throwing shade about our old school. So, bar fight? Cliche, huh? Pretty stupid, too. <laughs> Wife is gonna kill me. What'd you get hit with? Uh, rear mug. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. He had a pretty good laceration on his scalp. OK, all right. I'm going to go tell the doctor, and she'll come in and take a look at you, OK? Now, don't get up, Walt. I need you to stay right there, OK? Mm, I'll be here. OK, deal. Oh, yeah. Nurse Terry Foster's patient is suffering from a severe head laceration and too much to drink. OK, deal. Hey, Walt, this is Dr. Lynn. right there. Charmed, I'm sure. Let's get CT and skull films first. Labs and a tetanus. We won't put in sutures till after the results are back. OK, got it. We were about to send Walt off for a CT scan when all of a sudden, OK, we'll see you in a minute, Walt. <coughs> there she blows. <coughs> I'm concerned when a drunk patient vomits because, first off, it might obstruct their airway. Their vomitus might. But I'm also concerned about, could that be a sign of increased intracranial pressure? Get into CT. Tell them I need to see those scans immediately. All right. Uh, come on. I'll help you. I'll help you wade through the swamp here. Nothing like warm beer and onion rings a second time around, Walt. I'm going to just go with him to CT scan just in case he starts to go downhill. Hey, Hank, perfect timing. Struck oil in one, buddy. They got him into the scanner right away, and the doctor was able to look at the results. No bleeds. Lucky guy. He had no fractures, and he had no bleeding or anything like that in his brain. Guess we'll be sending him home. We cleaned him up, and we put about 20 stitches in him. OK, so no more bar fights, all right? Deal. OK, we're going to need somebody to take you home. Can I give your wife a call? No way. <laughs> if I'm OK, I would prefer she not know about so you're planning on hiding all of this? I have darkish hair. Once the bandage comes off, I can do the old comb down till it heals. Comb down what, Walt? I've seen a lot of things in my career, but a guy trying to hide 20 stitches in his scalp from his wife, it's not going to work. I'm afraid that's not possible. Your wife's going to have to keep an eye on your condition for at least the next day or two. It's important that somebody beside you gives your wife your discharge instructions. I'm concerned about a concussion. Um, I'm concerned about him having difficulty walking, talking, vomiting, a severe headache, anything like that. This guy needs to come back to the ER right away. Well, my buddy dropped me off here. Maybe he's still in the waiting room. OK, but he better be sober. He went out to the lobby, and he sees his friend and Gover starts talking to him. And I printed off the discharge instructions. Hi, I'm Terry. Ted. Ted, I need to ask you, how much have you had to drink tonight? Me? Nothing. Uh, so you're OK to drive safe? Yeah. OK, so you can take him home? That's great, because otherwise we can't release him. Thanks, Ted. His friend was alert and oriented. He wasn't intoxicated. He wasn't weaving. And he seemed pretty cooperative. Here's his head injury instructions. And what you need to do is go in his house and wake his wife up. OK, you can't drop him off at the door or anything. Go over this information with her, because somebody needs to be with him tonight, OK? You want me to go in his house and wake up his wife? Yes, that's very important. Sorry, but I'm not doing that. 
There's no way I'm waking his wife up in the middle of the night. No way. There's no way I'm waking his wife up in the middle of the night. Nurse Terry Foster has encountered a problem in sending his patient home. You have to go in, wake his wife up, tell her what happened, because she had no clue, and also go over those instructions with her as well. OK, Ted, sit down just a minute. I need to talk to you. OK, Walt had a significant blow to his head. He could later develop some post-concussion symptoms. He could have increased brain swelling. If that's not recognized, um, he could have some brain damage. He could potentially even die, OK? Yeah, Ted, this, this is real stuff. This is for real. And, and plus, Walt's pretty drunk, OK? And that really complicates things a lot. His wife absolutely has to be able to check him tonight every hour, wake him up and check him every hour. Come on, Ted. Do me a solid. OK, sorry, I'll, I'll do it. Atta boy. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Here's the head injury instructions. You can tell her to call me if she has any questions. My name's Terry. I'll be here all night, all right? And so finally, he said, yeah, I'll go ahead and take him home. And I went back in the emergency room. They said there was a patient in the back hall that needed an IV restarted. It was a lady with abdominal pain. And so I went in to restart her IV. Wendy, sorry to wake you up, but I need to restart your IV. That's OK. OK. How's your pain? It hurts a bit. Could I see my husband? He's in the waiting room. Yeah, I'll go get him. What's his name? Edward. And looked around, and nobody answered. Terry, we've got a gunshot wound coming in. Oh, how soon? Right now. Oh, OK. I see a guy who comes in. The paramedics are working on. I looked at this guy, trauma one. And all of a sudden, when I just saw his face, Ted? Ted? Nurse Terry Foster has an unexpected patient. Ted? I think this is Ted. This is the guy I just had take the other drunk home. We need help in one. Gunshot wound to the left leg. VP's 140 over 70. Heart rate's 130. O2's 99. Start another line at Grandma Sefazolin's IV. Get a CBC, a CMP, a quad panel, and a portable x-ray. OK, Ted, can you scoot over here? We'll support your leg. Ted, what, what happened? Oh, where's Walt? Is he OK? I guess so, unless his wife shot him too after they brought me here. Walt's wife shot you? I just couldn't believe what he said. Why would she shoot you? She thought I was an intruder. Didn't you call out to her? Yeah, but she doesn't even know me. You don't know the wife of your best friend? Best friend? I never saw that guy before in my life. Well, what, why did you take him home? He just asked me in the waiting room if I had a smoke. Then he started talking to me, and then you came up and told me I needed to take him home. Then why'd you take him home? You said it was really important that somebody takes him home. And I was just waiting. And I thought, OK, I, I can do that. And, and I, I thought he was his friend. I thought he was they were friends talking. And I just walked up on the conversation assuming that. I, I just couldn't believe it. Who were you waiting for? My wife, Wendy. She's here with abdominal pain. Are you Edward? Yeah, that's what she calls me. Somebody needs to tell his wife what's going on. So I went in and I, I said, your husband is going to be OK, but I need to tell you what happened. He's been shot? I'm so sorry. Wait, I don't get this. Wasn't he out in the waiting room? And why are you sorry? And I explained to her what happened. I just felt terrible for Ted, who was trying to do a good deed and got shot. And it was really kind of understanding on all parts. No charges were filed. It was just looked upon as just a true accident, which really made it a lot more bearable. Ted went to surgery, and he recovered fine. And um, his wife was discharged, obviously, that night. Because he was such a nice guy, he kind of let it go. It's kind of a caustic environment sometimes in the emergency room, and you have to have kind of a thick skin in this job. Can I have the discharge papers on, too, please? Whatever you say. Hey, Terry, what's this I hear about you shooting someone? You know what? 
that's hurtful. It was not my most positive moment as an RN, but um, everything turned out okay. 